Hello followers and welcome to the Minecraft Weekly Snapshot. This week is 13 week 21A and most of the stuff this week is mostly back end stuff and stuff that we don't typically see in the game. However, it's really important that this stuff gets done so I, uh, I think we can all forgive Mojang for not adding new stuff directly into the game. But there is some new stuff. We're going to go through some of the changes that have been implemented in this week's snapshot. Um, and I'm going to go over the, the major back-end things with you too, but I won't be able to show them all off because I don't have access to them easily anyway, or it might be quite difficult to record them. So, um, so yeah, Minecraft Snapshot 13 Week 21A. There is a new UI system for horses and their variants, so donkeys, mules and that kind of thing, to control whether horses are saddled, whether they wear armor, and whether they, um, and the inventory should I say, on the donkey. So you can do this by shift right clicking on a donkey or a horse and you can see there's this little saddle tab right here and the inventory. The inventory has been decreased which I can understand um, and you can kind of control the donkey um, over here using this and I really like this I think it's a lot more convenient now um, and with the horse I've just got a tamed horse over here shift right click and you will get the saddle slot, the armor slot, where I can put some armor on. And obviously this is going to be blank because you can't put an inventory on the horse. So you can also right click and then press E and you get the same thing. So you get the horse's inventory now. And uh, we can dismount. Same thing with the donkey. If I press E, I get the donkey's inventory. So this does mean in a sense that we don't have access to our crafting grid in survival anymore. But maybe that will be changed in a future snapshot. I'm not sure. So looking beyond that, um, we have a bunch of stuff moved over into a new attribute system. And you can now see some new tooltips with weapons, tools, and some potions. So yeah, if you go into your combat tab or tools tab, of your creative window or indeed the potions tab you will see these new tooltips plus six attack damage and, and uh, there's also some of the potions tab um, where you've got when applied you've got weakness here minus 15 speed on slowness um, and all that stuff you can increase attack damage with strength now I don't understand this too much but it, it only works at the moment with MBT tags and if you're unfamiliar with what MBT tags are they are stuff which we use behind the scenes, it's map maker stuff um, so that we can control certain things and the idea behind it, it seems to be where we could actually slow a user drawing a bow or something like that um, we can increase speed in certain ways um, we can have other properties like weapon damage and stuff like that um, and these are going to be implemented later I'm going to link a post to Reddit um, in the description and you can check out a bit more about that because I don't properly understand it and it's more back-end stuff that's not completely finished yet when we get to the full 1.6 update video I will probably be able to show you a bit more about that I'm just giving you an overview of what's in the snapshot right now so there's been a lot of work put in towards completion of a new resource pack system regarding textures but again this is not 100% finished uh, it's also suggested via um, the change log that it may break current texture packs when completed. So if you're a texture pack author, man, you're going to have to rebuild your textures again, unfortunately. That's what it seems to be like. They're going to implement some sort of new system for loading textures, which should help with FPS, I believe. So I'm glad that that's being implemented again. It's quite a small change, but that's that. Um, what more can I say? I don't know a whole lot more about that, to be honest. It's one of them things that's just uh, more of an internal change. Um, there's been a new internal chat system, meaning that many more things can now be translated. So yeah, there's a new chat system being implemented, so a lot of translations are now complete. There's changes regarding colors and stuff like that um, in multiplayer chat. And again, this is one of those things that's quite more internal than some other things that we are seeing right now. So if I get more information on that, I will probably do a video on that. But for right now, it just seems more of an internal change, which is going to help out with languages. And finally, as always, there's a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, there's just mainly small things, but this one I find quite neat. The anvils, if you can see here, actually now reflect their damage levels in the item frames and also in the creative inventory. So if I type anvil... As you can see, it shows you with the little cracks on the anvil 
uh, what level it's at and that's been a bug that's been basically in the game since anvils were introduced so I'm really happy that that's finally been changed because they do make nice wall decorations I think so that pretty much covers everything in this snapshot guys again lots of internal changes but this stuff has to be done now for the future so that we can have smoother updates in the future and obviously we've got the pretty cool changes regard the uh, horses and I think that this is a quite a neat change and it just makes it more convenient if anything uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that so hopefully next week we might have a few more features to go through uh, I, as I say I will link the post to reddit in the description and the Moyang changelog so you can check out the stuff for yourself if you're more interested in the map making side of things then in a couple of hours no doubt Seth Bling will have a video up regarding perhaps some of the MBT changes because I don't understand that too well <laughs> but I do know that it's going to muck around with some pre-existing mobs in maps with custom values so if you're a map maker you may just want to double check your map with the next couple of snapshots to make sure that nothing breaks um, or if it does break to fix it before 1.6 so yeah, that pretty much covers it. I thank you for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, well, episode, well next snapshot should I say. Um, which should be 13 week 22A. So until then guys, see you later and have a good day.